Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use the repeat formula to repeat the letter G four times. And then if I double click to send this down, I end up with the letter G repeated a different number of times depending on what the cell reference is. I'll then select all of these and change the font to the Webdings font, which is a picture based font. And in the Webdings font, the letter G is a black square. So if you have lots of black squares stacked up side by side, it will look like an in-cell bar chart. This isn't the only combination of symbols and fonts that this will work for. For example, if I use the repeat formula to repeat the pipe symbol a hundred times, and then change the font to the stencil font, I end up with a similar looking in cell bar chart. Now I don't want all of these bars to start in the same place on the left hand side. I want them to all start in different places. So in order to do this, I'm going to use another repeat formula and combine these together using an AND symbol. And in the first repeat formula, I'm going to repeat a dash this number of times and enter. And I now have this little ribbon here. If I double click and send it down, I have a different number of ribbons in front of each of the bars, depending on what the number is in the start column. But I don't want to be able to see the ribbons, so I'm going to change this to a space and enter and then double click and send it down. And I now have all of the bars starting in different places. However, if this is one and this is four, then this bar here should end at position five. But the next bar also starts at position five. So the second bar should start in the same place as where the first bar ends only it doesn't, it's starting in the middle. And that is because in the Webdings font, a space is only half of the width of the letter G. So in order for this to work, I need to have two spaces in here and then enter and double click to send it down. And now all of the bars are spaced out correctly. I can change the formatting of this by changing the font Color, that changes the color of the bars and I can also change the background by changing the fill color and I can add in a border. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to create a simple in-cell bar chart where all of the bars start and end in different places and that is everything.